The police, the FBI, they've been and gone, taking what they need from Omar Mateen's home, what they hope will help their investigation. Police removed boxes of potential evidence from here, including a computer. They're trying to put together the picture of why Mateen left this small apartment, drove two hours, and then carried out America's worst mass shooting. Police checked the apartment for booby traps and explosives before moving in. In this video given to Al Jazeera, they also went through the gunman's car. A search warrant lies on the driver's seat. This is a kind of a small town, so it's kind of scary that these things are right in your, my backyard, literally in my backyard. Across town, Mateen's father struggled to find the words to express his loss, his sadness Thank and you. his horror, but said this was nothing to do with religion. And what he did was, I, it's totally, he's wrong, and I, I don't approve of him. What he did, as a father, I don't forgive him. Like many 29-year-olds, Omar Mateen had an online presence and regularly posted pictures. He was born in New York to Afghan immigrants, moved to Florida where he worked as a security guard. He was questioned twice by the FBI about links to radicals, but was never put on any watch list. His ex-wife says he never showed any signs of radicalism before they were divorced in 2011, but said he often beat her. President Obama, speaking at the White House, said Omar Mateen was what security services often feared. They just know direct evidence that he was part of a larger plot. As far as we can tell right now, this is certainly an example of the kind of homegrown uh, extremism that all of us have been so concerned about uh, for uh, a very long time. At the local Islamic center where Mateen would pray with his father and son, they condemned the nightclub attack and insisted they would have reported him if they thought he was a danger. If there is any indication that he will do such kind of things, we will be the first one to report him because we will be the people that will suffer the most from what happened. So there is no reason. We will be the first to report him, for sure. For now, Orlando is hurting, grieving deeply after this assault. In Fort Pierce, they know what caused that grief. But was it homophobia, mental illness, extreme radical views, or a combination of all three? that drove Omar Mateen on such a murderous attack. It's the why they're trying to work out. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Fort Pierce, Florida.